Welcome everyone to chair yoga. So sitting comfortably in your chair, we'll just take a few moments to prepare. So sitting comfortably, extending those feet a little bit out in front of you, hands resting in the lap. Go ahead and close the eyes or just drop the gaze. And as you turn the attention inward, just take a moment to notice how your body feels. Especially noting any areas of tension or tightness. And then we'll take two deep cleansing breaths. So take a nice big inhale through the nose and exhale it all out. And one more nice big inhale and exhale it all out. And then soften the muscles of the face. Relax the muscles of the neck. And the shoulders. And then turn the attention to the breath. Notice the inhale. And notice the exhale. And then we'll begin a nice, even breathing, inhaling and exhaling to a count of four. So inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. Breathe in, two, three, four, Breathe out, two, three, four. And just continue this nice, even breathing. If at any time it makes you lightheaded or dizzy, just go back to your own normal breathing pattern. And then we also set an intention for each practice to help remind us why we are here. So that may be a benefit you would like to receive or just an uplifting or a positive thought or a phrase. So think of an intention that you'd like to have for your practice today. And then with your next inhale, go ahead and lift your head and open your eyes. If you do have your feet extended, just walking those feet back in. And then we'll begin the warm up by turning our heads to look out over that right shoulder. And coming back to center and turning to look out over the left.
and back to center, dropping the chin to the chest. And then picking the chin up towards the ceiling and jetting that lower jaw out. And coming back to center and dropping the right ear to the right shoulder. And back to center and left ear to left shoulder. And back to center. And then extending the hands out in front, open and close the fingers. And then some wrist circles. And reverse. Good. And then we're going to do a little wrist warm up. Extending the right arm out in front, bending the elbow, trying to keep the elbow in line with the shoulder. And you can use your left hand to support that right arm. Making a very loose fist. And then we're going to cock the wrist back towards your shoulder and then extend it forward. So it looks like you're casting a fishing line. Just this very gentle back and forth. Try not to move the forearm too much that the movement should really just come from the wrist. Good. Just this little fishing move. You probably use more of your forearm when you're actually casting a line, but you get the movement. Good. Let's try it on the other side. The same thing here, supporting the left arm and just cocking the wrist back and then extending it forward. So getting that, it's called abduction, adduction in the wrist. Good. And then releasing the left arm down, just wiggle it out or shake it out a little bit. And then placing the hands on your thighs, we're going to do some finger extensions. So again, focus on how your fingers feel. If you feel anything that is straining or discomfort, then just back off of what we're doing. So we'll start with our index finger. So you're just going to pick that index finger up and hold it for a couple of seconds. And then the middle finger. Good. And the ring, it's going to get a little harder here. And the pinky. Good and the thumbs. So we're going to go through that again. You can either do what we just did, or you can apply just a gentle pressure. So taking the thumb of the left hand, placing it on that third knuckle, or the big knuckle of the index finger, gently taking your left fingers around the right index finger and just pressing into that knuckle and very gently applying some pressure. If you have arthritis in your knuckles at all, just go back to what we did before. If you want to deepen the extension, then you're just going to apply this gentle pressure. So whatever is best for you, good. And again, we'll just go down the line here. There shouldn't be any discomfort or pain, just feeling a deep stretch. So as we stretch out fingers and wrists and things like this, we're just constantly paying attention to how that feels. Good. And then the pinky here. Good. And then the thumbs. Kind of hard to, because you have a different joint, just extend the thumb. All right, shake out those fingers. And then bringing the arms alongside the body, we'll start with some shrugs. Moving on to the shoulders. Good. 
And the next time you pick the shoulders up, roll them to the back. Good, bring those shoulders back to neutral. Bring the arms out in front and then holding on to your opposite forearm, we'll lift those forearms up over the head and back down. Good. Let's do two more. And then bringing the arms to neutral, we're going to do a little breast stroke. So have your palms facing each other, extend the arms, sweep those arms out and around. Good, let's do it once more. Good, and coming back to center again, wiggle it out, do a couple little shrugs. All right, and then we'll extend the right leg and point and flex the foot. And then some ankle circles. And reverse. Good. And bringing that right foot back down, same thing on the left. Start with your pointing and flexing. And then some ankle circles. And reverse. Good, bring that left leg back in. And then we'll warm up the knee by just picking the foot up a little bit so you can bend and extend. Good, now the next time you extend, hold it there and just reach your right fingers towards your right toes. Just get a nice good stretch. Good, and then same thing on the left. Just bend and extend the leg. And then this last time, extend it, reach with those left fingertips. Good. All right. And then sitting up nice and tall, maybe walking the hips forward a little bit. We're going to do some glute squeezes. So sitting up nice and tall, let's start on the right side. So just that right glute, you're gonna squeeze it and release. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. One more, good. And then the left, squeeze just that left glute. This is a great way too to see if you have an imbalance. And then once more here on the left. Good, now both, squeeze both glutes. Good, last time. Good, and then we're gonna do a little hip walk. So we're gonna pick up each hip, walk to the edge of the chair, and then walk them back. So make sure you're using those glutes as you pick up each hip. Good, and walk it back. Good, let's do one more up. Good, and then walk it back to about the middle of the chair, sitting up nice and tall, bringing the right arm alongside the body. Inhale, sweep that left arm up, and exhale, bend to the right. Coming back to center, switch arms, inhale, and exhale, bend to the left. Release back to center, coming into a twist, left hand on the right knee, inhale to lengthen, and exhale, turn and look to the right.
and then releasing back to center, switch hands, inhale and exhale, turn and look to the left. Good. And then releasing back to center, we'll come into our spinal warm up of cat cow. Because cat rounds the spine, if you have osteoporosis, just keep your spine in neutral rather than rounding. All right, we'll come into cow. So that's an inhale, lifting the chest and chin, arching the spine. And then exhale, either just remain in neutral or drop the chin to the chest for cat. Inhale back to cow. Exhale, neutral or cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, neutral or cat. And last time, inhale and exhale. Good, and then coming back to neutral, we're going to come into our sun salutation for a warm up. So do that little hip walk again. This time you want to be towards the edge of the chair just so you can move. All right, we'll go through the movement the first time through. I'll go a little slow and then we're going to pick it up. So here we go. We're going to start sitting up nice and tall, arms alongside the body. With your inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms out to the side, bend from your hip, and bring the chest forward. Then as you inhale, lift the torso, pick up the right knee, bring it in towards your chest. Exhale, bring that leg down. Then inhale, extend the hands out in front for plank pose. Exhale, pull them back in, squeeze those shoulder blades. Inhale, hold on to your chair, lift your chest for cobra. With the exhale, we're going to extend the legs and arms for downward facing dog. Then inhale, you're now going to pick up the left knee. Exhale, left foot down. Oops, inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale to the heart. Hopefully you don't have a plant in the way like I do. All right, here we go. We're going to try it again. Inhale, and we'll start with the left side. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left knee up. Exhale, down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, this is called chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, little back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, pick up that right knee. Exhale, down. Inhale, arms up, exhale to the heart. Here we go. We're now starting on the right side. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right knee up, exhale down. Inhale, plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left knee up, exhale down. Inhale, sweep those arms up, exhale to the heart. Onto the left side, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left knee, exhale down. Cobra, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, oops, did I say cobra, not plank? This is cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right knee, exhale down. Inhale, hands to the heart. Good. All right, here we go. Once more each side. Inhale, exhale forward. Inhale, right knee, exhale down. Inhale, plank, exhale, chaturanga. Now we're coming into cobra with that inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left knee, exhale down. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale to the heart. Last time, here we go. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left knee up, exhale down. Inhale, plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right knee up. Exhale, down. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale to the heart. All right, hopefully you're warmed up. My heart is beating a lot faster. So let's go ahead and walk those hips up to the edge of the chair. Come on up to standing. Grab a drink. So hopefully you've got your water nearby, which is what I'm gonna do real quick. Good. All right. And then you'll wanna come around the side of the chair. We'll start with the chair on the right side. Um, we're gonna do a couple of warm up things first. So just have the chair handy. So we'll start in mountain pose. So having those feet hip width apart. Remember you wanna distribute the weight between the balls of the feet and the heels. Lifting up through the arches, tighten the front of the thighs. Lift and tighten the abdominals. Focus on the spine, lengthening up from the tailbone all the way up to the crown of the head. Good, arms alongside the body, a little bit away from it, palms facing each other. Lift the shoulders and roll them down the back. Good, opening up through the chest and gazing forward. Taking a few breaths here. Standing nice and tall, erect like a mountain. And then with your next inhale, sweep those arms up. Take your left index finger and thumb and grab the back of your right wrist. With your next inhale, extend up and with the exhale, bend to the left. So you're taking that left uh, hand and just gently pulling your right wrist to the right, getting a nice stretch. Inhale back to center, switch hands, lengthen and then exhale now to the right. So as you can see, I'm just pulling that left arm to the right. Good. Release back to center, let's try it again. So switch hands, I'm holding onto the back of my right wrist. As I exhale, bend to the left. Now make sure that you're not bringing that shoulder forward. So only bend as much as you can, that you can keep the shoulder open. Good, back to center, switch. With that inhale and to exhale, bend to the right. Good, release back to center, release those arms down, do a couple shoulder rolls, just wiggle it out a little bit. Good. All right, so now we're going to come into a twist. Here's where the chair will come in handy. So standing next to the chair, keep your right hand on the chair. Weight will shift into the right leg and then just extend your left foot forward. So the weight is a little bit in the ball of my left foot. Extend the left arm and we're going to do a twist here, but it's got this balance element to it too. So that's why you're gonna keep your right hand on the chair. Inhale and then as you exhale, begin to sweep that left arm behind you as you turn and look to the left. Good, and then exhale back to center. Let's try that once more. If you want, you can put that right hand on your hip or on your waist and see if you can balance. Inhale to lengthen and then exhale. Now don't go too fast here, take your time. See if you can bring that left hand around behind you and keep a hand on the chair if you need to. Good, and then exhale back to center. Release that left arm. Go ahead and bring the foot back, walk it out. Let's try it on the other side.
All right, so weight will shift in the left leg. I'm just going to bring my right toes forward. Good. Right arm in front. Inhale. And then as you exhale, and again, if you go too fast, it's going to throw you off a little bit. Good. So looking to the right now. Good. And then exhale, bringing that arm back forward. Good. So we'll try it again. Here we go. If you want to balance, then left hand on the hip. Good. Exhale as you begin to turn. Good. And then release back to center. Good. You can bring that arm down, release your foot, walk it out. And then bringing the chair now back to your right side, only you want to turn the chair around. And we're going to come into warrior two, but we're gonna add a little movement. We're gonna do a reverse warrior, and then we're gonna go into triangle. So that's why we're gonna have the chair here for triangle. So standing perpendicular to the seat of the chair, and then coming into your wide stance. So you want to have your feet a little wider than hip width. Good. And then bringing the arms up to shoulder height, we're going to start by coming into star pose. So that's what we're in. And then we're gonna activate these glutes. So as you stand here, same elements as Tadasana, so nice and lengthened up through the torso, abs are tight, and then I want you to imagine you're trying to push your feet out to the edges of the mat, and you should feel these glutes engage. Good, and then just take a few breaths. Good. And then with your exhale, go ahead and release the arms. Just wiggle it out a little bit. And then we'll start by turning that right foot out to 90 degrees. You're going to keep the left foot facing forward. Line up the right heel to the instep of the left foot. And we'll keep the chair seat facing your right side here. Now, bend that right knee, stack it right over the ankle. Come back to lifting those arms up to shoulder height as we come into warrior two. And then exhale, turn to look out over that middle right finger. Good, now here's where we're gonna add a little movement. We're going to bring the left hand to the back of the left thigh. With the inhale, sweep that right arm up. You're doing this little side bend. And then with the exhale, bring the arms back to shoulder height, straighten the right knee, shift the weight into the left hip. And then as you exhale, you're going to reach to the right, bring that right hand down to the chair. That right leg is straight if you can, coming into triangle pose. Good, and we'll take a full breath here. And then with the inhale, lifting back up, exhale, bend that right knee as we come back into warrior two and repeat this. Good, take a full breath. With your next inhale, right, left arm down, and bring that right arm up, coming into reverse warrior. And then exhale, straighten the right knee, shift the weight, lean to the right, bring that right hand down, coming into triangle pose. Take a full breath. Good, and once more, inhale, come up. Exhale, bend that right knee, coming into warrior two. Take a full breath. 
with the next inhale, then coming into reverse warrior. And then exhale, straighten the right knee, shift the weight over, leaning to the right, bringing the right hand down, coming into triangle. Good. And then inhale, back up. Exhale, bring the arms down, wiggle it out or shake out those arms. And then go ahead and turn that right foot forward. And stepping the feet together, go ahead and shift your chair over to the other side. And we'll try it on the left. So again, I'm standing perpendicular to my chair come into that wide stance. This time right foot stays forward, left foot turns out to the side, lining up the heel with the instep of the right foot. Good, inhale, bring those arms up. Exhale, bend the left knee now, turning to look out over the middle left finger. So coming into warrior two on the left, Taking a full breath, and then inhale. Now the right hand comes to the back of the right thigh and bring that left arm up. With the exhale, arms back to shoulder height, straighten the left knee. Exhale, lean to the left, bring that left hand down. And you can bring the right hand to the hip. You know how to modify if you need to, otherwise extending that right arm up. Tighten the quadricep of the left leg, so the front of the thigh. Good, full breath here, and then inhale back up, and we repeat. So exhale back into warrior two. Good, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, coming into triangle. Good, leaning, bringing that left arm down, extending the right, or bringing it to your hip, or even tucking it behind your back. Good, inhale, lift that torso back up. Last time, bend the left knee, coming into warrior two. Good, with your inhale, then reversing. Good. And then exhale as you straighten the leg, lean to the left. And then inhale, lift that right arm. Good, continue to breathe. Good, and then inhale, lift the torso. Exhale, bring the arms down. Turn that left foot in, wiggle it out, step your feet together. Good, and just shake everything out. Good, all right, we've got one last posture to do. So go ahead and bring that right foot chair over to the right side again. So we're going to come into stork pose. So we're gonna shift the weight back to the right leg. And like we did a few moments ago, we're gonna bring the left foot forward. Now just put the ball of the foot on the floor. You can balance here, or see if you can pick that left knee up, extend the left arm up. Again, same elements, in, as we did in Tadasana, lengthen through the torso, tighten the abdominals. If you can, possibly balance here. If not, keep that right hand on the chair. Good, and continue to breathe. Find your gazing point. Good, and then exhale, bring that left leg down, shake it out. And we'll try it on the other side. All right, shift the weight over to the left, right foot forward, 
You're welcome to keep your toes on the floor, left hand on the chair, just extend the right arm up, or see if you can pick that right knee up. Good, still facing forward. Maybe letting go and just balancing here. Good. Finding that gazing point and breathing. This is called stork pose because storks often stand on one leg. Good. And then exhale, release everything down, walk it out. Good. Grab a drink again, and then I will meet you back down in the chair. I'm going to grab a drink too before I sit. Okay. So as you sit down, you want to sit in about the middle of the seat. Again, um, sitting up a little bit to give you a little range of motion as we come into the next one. So we're gonna work on the core here. We're going to do a little movement called kayaking. So we're gonna pretend we're holding a kayak paddle. The kayak paddle is just one big long paddle. And then you're gonna dip it down to one hip, bring it around to the other. So it looks like you're making a figure eight. Okay, or infinity sign, kind of looks like that. All right. You're gonna sit up nice and tall. Try to keep those abdominals tight. Here we go. Good, so you're working those obliques. I'm sure you call it the corset muscles. Good, helping to keep that core tight. A couple more. Good, all right, come back to center. Again, just shake it out. And then we're going to step the right knee wide along with the left leg then. So we wanna turn completely in the chair so we're facing the right. And we're going to come into a chair twist. So looking to the right, take a nice big inhale to lengthen the spine. And then with the exhale, you're going to leave the legs facing to the right, but you're gonna to turn towards the back of the chair or to the right and looking out over that right shoulder. So you can hold on to the back of the chair for support. Continue to breathe. And then with your exhale, release the twist, and we'll step those feet all the way around to the other side. Good. So as you twist, the important thing here is to keep the spine long. So inhale to lengthen, and then exhale now turning to the left or the back of the chair and looking out over that left shoulder. Good, and then releasing the twist, go ahead and swing those legs back to the front. And then doing a little hip walk towards the edge of the chair, extending the legs. Um, we'll start with the right leg. So the right leg's gonna stay there. The left foot, you're gonna pick up and place your left heel on the toes of the right foot. So now you should be feeling a nice stretch in that left hamstring. If you are a little more flexible, bending from the hip, keeping the back straight, think of just tilting the chest forward a little bit. You'll feel the, how that deepens the stretch. So you want to feel, uh, you don't want to feel any discomfort or pain. 
So as we do any of these stretchings or postures, it's important to know where your edge is. Whereas if you went a little farther, then you're coming into straining or pain. You're just working up until that point. Good, all right, lift the torso. Let's switch legs. So left leg stays on the heel on the floor and then the right heels on top of the left toes. Good, and then up to you if you want to deepen the stretch by bringing the chest forward a little bit. Again, I'm hinging from my hip, not my waist. Good, and breathe. Good, and then with the inhale, go ahead and lift the torso, release your right leg, and then we'll do our hip walk back to the middle of the chair. And we're going to come into eagle pose. So that's crossing the right, Thigh over the left. If you've been told not to do that, then just cross on the ankles. That's fine. If you can, after crossing the thighs, if you want to cross the lower legs, then feel free to do that too. All right, sitting up nice and tall, extending the arms out in front, palms up. We'll take the left arm, sweep it over the right, crossing above the elbows. And then bringing the hands to the shoulders, giving yourself a big hug. You're welcome to stay here or extend those lower arms and crossing them. Good, and breathe. And then slowly unwrap the arms and unwrap those legs. Same thing on the other side. So either crossing the ankles, crossing the thighs, or then crossing the lower legs. Good. Try to keep your weight distributed evenly. Extend the arms. This time the right arm will cross over the left. And again, staying here or wrapping the lower arms, holding on to your opposite wrist or opposite thumb, or just bringing the back of the hands together. Good. And then taking a few breaths. And then slowly uncross those arms, uncross the legs. Good. And then sitting up far enough in the chair that you can widen the legs, we'll do an inner thigh stretch, placing the forearms on those inner thighs. Inhale to lengthen, and then exhale. Again, you're going to come into this tilting from the hip. Just bringing the chest forward a little bit, pressing the forearms into the thighs so you feel a good stretch in the hips. Good, take a few more breaths. And then with your next inhale, go ahead and lift the torso, walk those feet in, and then moving yourself all the way to the back of the chair, coming back into that pose of relaxation, what we call savasana, resting the hands in the lap and closing the eyes. Turning the attention inward and noticing the breath. Ah. 
after your next inhale, begin to lengthen the exhale. Continue lengthening each exhale until they become about twice as long as the inhale. focus on the physical body. Relax all the muscles from the feet, all the way up to the crown of the head. tension or tightness. And then focus on the mind. any thoughts, worries, or anxieties. And if these things try to come back in without any judgment, just release them, turning the attention back to the breath. And notice the inhale. And notice the exhale. Allow yourself just a few moments to completely let go.
begin to deepen your breath. And then start moving your fingers, your toes, and then the wrists. the ankles. And slowly bending one knee and then the other. And keeping the body relaxed and the eyes closed for another moment. Focus on the intention that you set. And then taking one more deep cleansing breath. So take a nice big inhale and exhale it all out by blowing or sighing it out. And then go ahead and lift your head and open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.